did safe success, easing its strict lockdown. This is SBS World News with Janice Peterson. Good evening. As Australia's controversial tracing app rolled out, our Chief Medical Officer is warning... NRL stars caught and fined for breaking isolation rules. Tonight, Latrell Mitchell and Josh Adokar apologise after a deadly torpedo attack. Live from Sydney, 7 News with Mark Ferguson. Good evening, with the NRL working frantically to get back on the field. Tonight, will the NRL season restart be derailed? Players refusing to train until a salary deal is done to our ski fields. This is 10 News First Sydney with Sandra Sully. Good evening. The restart of the NRL season is on seriously shaky ground. Australians have earned an early mark through the work that they have done. May in 20 years. This is Nine News with Georgie Gardner. Good evening. Australians have earned an early mark from the coronavirus lockdown. Good evening. I'm Juanita Phillips. This is ABC News. The camping trip that's landed three NRL players in trouble killed four police officers. Just two new cases. Live with Annalise Nielsen in Canberra, this is AM Agenda. Good morning and welcome to AM Agenda, our top story, Queenslanders. This is the latest from 7 News with Melissa Doyle. Good evening and welcome. Tonight, an emotional tribute we hear from the family of one of four police officers. This is 9 News Early Edition with Vanessa O'Hanlon. Good morning. We begin with breaking news. This is 9 News with Mark Burrows. Good morning. We start with breaking news out of Melbourne. This is 9 News, first at 5 with Alicia Loxley. Good afternoon. The federal government has today released its coronavirus... This morning, driver charged the man who was behind the wheel... Kim Jong-un. This is 7 News with Natalie Barr. Good morning. The driver of a truck involved... This is 7 News with Ann Sanders. Good morning. The truck driver accused of hitting and killing four police officers... Live from Sydney, 7 News with Ann Sanders. Good afternoon to breaking news. There's been another major development... Slowly returning to normal, Western Australia lifts the two toll in more than a month. Hello and welcome to Mornings, I'm Joe O'Brien. Take a quick look at the weather first in the capital cities. Going live, more than a million Australians download... ...of water dividing. And a very good morning to you. It is Monday the 27th of April. More than a million people download the government's virus tracing app. A major profit slump. Hello and welcome to ABC News. I'm Ros Childs. The truck driver charged over a crash. A truck driver faces court. It's good for the economy. Hello, Michael Tetlow with ABC Lake News. More than two million Australians.
This is 10 News First, Perth, with Monica Koss. Good evening. We begin tonight with a horrifying knife attack. This is 10 News First, Queensland, with Georgina Lewis. Good evening. A $4 billion black hole... This is 10 News First Adelaide with Kate Freebin. Good evening. The number of COVID-19 cases nationally has... Tonight, the husband accused of murdering his wife, then going drinking. We're revealing where he's been hiding out and confronting trapped in paradise on Fraser Island. This is 9 News Queensland. Good evening. Tonight, we're learning extraordinary new detail. Tonight, three Dockers players under investigation. The pandemic party pictures giving birth to a boy. This is Nine News Perth with Michael Thompson. Good evening. Three Dockers players are tonight at the centre of a social distancing investigation. Tonight, WA out in public as lockdown restrictions wind back. But instead, a smoke haze. Live from our Perth headquarters, this is 7 News with Susanna Carr and Rick Arden. Good evening and welcome to 7 News for the first time in a month. Live from Melbourne, 7 News with Peter Mitchell starts now. Good evening. George Pell is putting Melbourne... Be Live from Brisbane, 7 News with Sharon Gadella and Max Butcher. Good evening. Picnics in the park, shopping and Sunday drive. 7 News with Jane Doyle. Good evening. The family of an Adelaide grandfather. Live from the Gold Coast, 7 News with Rod Young and Amanda Abate. Good evening. The closed signs and barriers. Live from the Sunshine Coast, this is 7 News with Rob Bruff. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. Across Cairns and far north Queensland, this is 7 News with Rob Bruff and Joanne Desmond. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. Good evening. Across central Queensland, this is 7 News with Rob Bruff and Joanne Desmond. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. Good evening. Across the Darling Downs and beyond, this is 7 News with Rob Bruff and Joanne Desmond. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Good evening. Across Townsville and North Queensland, this is 7 News with Rob Bruff and Joanne Desmond. Good evening, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Across the Wide Bay Burnet, this is 7 News with Rob Bruff. Across Mackay, the Whitsundays and the Coalfields, this is 7 News with Rob Bruff. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. A senior shadow minister gets caught breaking coronavirus rules alive during the lockdown. Good evening, Matt Wordsworth with ABC News. Patients' lives at risk after a long illness. Your mug, good evening. Dan Borscher with ABC News. Also tonight, an inquest told Tasmania... Good evening, Guy Stainer with ABC News. Also tonight, revelations of side effects. Good evening, Jessica Harmson with ABC News.
Also tonight, the volunteers patching up. Good evening, Tamara O'Dine with ABC News. This is GWN7 Local News with Noel Brunning and Shauna Willis. No new virus cases overnight. From north to south. It's now 5.30 and we're live across Western Australia. Good evening. First tonight, there is now just one active case of COVID-19. This is Prime 7 Local News with Madeleine Collignon and Carl Linders and Ellie Wicks with your local weather forecast. Tonight, Wagga ready to pounce. Sent to the PM. Now, Prime 7 Local News. Good evening. Wagga's ambition to host more top-level sport has been boosted. Live from our seven Tasmania studios, your nightly news with Kim Miller begins now. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Well, the Premier has vented frustration. From our seven Spencer Golf studios, your nightly news with John Hunt begins now. Good evening, everyone. Broken Hill Police have arrested a disqualified driver who is not supposed to be on the road for another 17 years. Officers saying the serial offender was also in possession of a prohibited weapon. <laughs> 